Reset. Gradual descent into psychologically divergent thrillers. In this intimate thriller written and directed by David Sumner, Alyssa Carella plays Danielle, a carefree student preparing to graduate. She decides to go to a house party to celebrate and relieve some of the stress she has been feeling as a result of her studies. The problem is that Danielle overindulges at the party, which causes her to pass out. She eventually wakes up in the second bedroom of a cabin. How did she arrive at that location? She has no idea, that much is certain. She has little choice but to trust Edgar, Ben Barlow, the kind but watchful landlord of the cabin. When Edgar's true feelings for Danielle are revealed, the situation quickly and dramatically deteriorates. Danielle had no idea she is going to be given a second opportunity in life, one that will allow her to seek revenge on Edgar. Reset spends the majority of its time focusing on two people and one set. The low production expense was accompanied by an increase in the authenticity of the dread felt on film as a result of the environment created by the site. One of the aspects of the horror that appeals to me the most is how readily actual adrenaline rushes can be manufactured. Various techniques excite, thrill, or emotionally engage an audience, such as investing one million in a spectacular car chase or having a likable character pursued by a masked killer. After getting into contact with Reset, one may experience anxiety. As you progress through the novel, you begin to feel it more and more. A couple of dreamy scenes will have viewers on the edge of their seats as they wait to see what happens. The actors who can accomplish the most with the fewest resources are the ones who currently wield the most power over the director. Kevin Smith's film Clarks demonstrated that a picture with a limited budget may nevertheless benefit from a compelling story. Even a goofy idea may become a cult classic with superb direction, as John Carpenter demonstrated with the film Halloween. Carpenter directed the film in 1978. El Mariachi, a film by Robert Rodriguez, demonstrated that all it needs to make an entertaining action picture is a little bit of craziness and some money to pay for film processing. The idea for this film, which is about whether or not the protagonists of other thrillers would genuinely survive, originated from worrying about that. Sumner began analyzing movies using various approaches after serving in the military for a long time. He'd ask queries like, what are the benefits and drawbacks? This young woman will almost certainly die since she is being held captive by a serial killer in the middle of nowhere with no special training. So the challenge is, how does Sumner maintain a chance of survival while allowing her to die? The story's unexpected turn and the solemn ending gave the film the distinguishing quality it needed to stand out. Sumner is now working on a novel as well as a screenplay for his next film. My film's producer is now putting the finishing touches on a product package to secure funding for our next project. Click link in description to view the reset trailer and for all the available streaming channels.